this film is based on a true story about a secret World War II mission called Operation Postmaster that was carried out by an, a commando-style unit known as Special Operations Executive. I actually approached Guy for this role. While we were in Turkey making Operation Fortune, he told me about this project and I basically campaigned for it. It so happens that my grandfather was in SOE. He was sent into Albania in 1943 and dropped behind enemy lines to blow up bridges and railways and that kind of thing. And uh, he worked for Gubbins, so it made it kind of personal. Uh, so we don't actually really know how he came up with the moniker M, but we believe it came from his middle name, McVean. And uh, he was born in Japan, raised in Scotland. Uh, he was an artillery officer in World War I, where he won the military cross for bravery. And uh, he was also in the British Army in, in Russia during the Russian Revolution. And in Ireland during the Irish War of Independence. And that's really where he developed a keen interest in guerrilla warfare. So Churchill believed that the only way to win the war was to fight the enemy at their own game. And he believed that guerrilla warfare was the key to succeed. And he told Gubbins, actually, that he wanted SOE to set Europe ablaze, and that's really what they did. Well, M didn't really get to choose the whole team because uh, Gus March Phillips, who he chose to lead the expedition, um, really was, was adamant about picking his own crew. So um, because M had a soft spot for March Phillips, he really let him have his way. Well, they're both legends in the industry. Um, Jerry has a, a remarkable eye for great stories, and uh, Guy is a remarkable storyteller. So I'm actually surprised that they haven't worked together until now. Well, Guy totally understands the actor's process, and because he creates such memorable characters, I just love working with him. It's, it's such a joy, and he's so funny. I mean, his sets are, are just filled with joy, so I, I find myself laughing hysterically every day. Well, Jerry and I made Days of Thunder 33 years ago, and one of the things I love about Jerry is that he's, he's really modest about his achievements. Um, but he's the same guy, the same guy, just passionate about his work, very modest and obviously loyal to a T. And uh, yeah, I'm so grateful to be back working with him again after this length of time. All Guy Ritchie movies need to be watched on the biggest screen possible. Well, Guy likes to paint on a large canvas, and all of his movies are epic, but I think this is the biggest epic of all because it's a classic World War II uh, action drama, and it's a true story. <laughs>